In my last video, I talked about how I have made a switch from using canes to using crutches. My doctor recommended this for me after I developed some pretty significant wrist issues, and I ended up choosing to buy these, which are called smart crutches. And they're really unique as far as crutches go because this top bit rotates, and these are the only ones on the market that do that, and I wasn't sure if it was gonna be just a really expensive gimmick, because these are not the cheapest crutches out there, or if they were gonna be a real game changer. And for me, they have been a game changer, but they're not for everybody. So I wanna go over my experience with these, and that way you can decide if maybe these are for you. <laughs> so the reason these have been so helpful for me is because I have a condition called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. That's a connective tissue disorder that means my body doesn't make collagen correctly. And since collagen is like the glue that holds your body together, I have issues with all over. But the biggest issue for me lately has been my wrists, but I also have a rotating sets of problem joints, some issues with my neck, with my shoulders, with my hips, which is why this rotating adjustable component is so key. Because when you have these crutches at more of this 90 degree angle, the weight when you put your arm in it is pretty entirely on your elbow through your forearm and shoulder or through your upper arm and shoulder <laughs> and no weight at all is on your wrists which is fantastic for me when I have wrist issues but to move with the cane it puts a lot more pressure on your shoulder and on your hands to hold on to it and not drop it <laughs> which um, means that I tend to use this more at this 90 degree angle when I'm going to be doing a lot of standing around and I need a really stable base to lean on when I'm off balance or in pain. It can hurt my shoulder if I'm using it for super long. But if you've got it at this more standard forearm crutch <laughs> kind of angle, are you still putting some pressure on the wrist but there's also a lot more weight taken by your forearm? This one is a little bit less in the way. So if I'm moving through big groups of people, this is a little bit more convenient and <laughs> feels a little sleeker. It puts less stress on my shoulder. I'm not completely sure why. <laughs> I think because I'm using the bicep muscle to move it instead of relying on my shoulder. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I frequently try to keep it at an angle that's in between the perfectly 90 degrees and perfectly straight just to try to get the best of both worlds. But since my injuries are constantly changing, the ability to change which joints are taking the most pressure has been super, super helpful for me. So as far as trying to decide if these ones are right for you, if you are looking into like platform crutches because of a wrist injury, then I'd say that any standard platform crutch where the weight is not going on your wrist will probably be fine for you. And if you're just looking for a any crutch that's going to be a little bit more supportive than a walking stick, then I'd say any old forearm crutch could be totally fine for you. The thing that makes these rotatable also adds a lot of weight. So if you have shoulder issues, like I have some mild shoulder issues and I'm generally okay, but if you have a lot of problems with your shoulders, then crutches this heavy might not be right for you. But if you're like me and have Ehlers Danlos syndrome or another condition where you kind of your needs change a lot, then the adjustable factor of these crutches is a real game changer. I feel much more comfortable going into new places and new situations knowing that if something pops up, I can adjust this and make sure I've got the support I need. There are a couple sweet features on these that I haven't mentioned yet. The first is the little outside skin on these here. You can choose which one you want and <laughs> they have a very wide variety. You can go for something like galaxy or plants or racing stripes or basic black. Like there's a lot of different options and there are extra ones like seasonal or decorative that you can get that's static on so you can change them up as you like. Individual parts and spare ferrules are also available on their website so if something breaks you can just replace that part and you don't have to buy a whole new crutch which is nice. Mine is a touch big so it comes with padding that you can put on the inside to 
Make sure you got the fit that you like and you can add multiple layers of padding if necessary. It comes with some, but you can also buy extra if you need a little bit of extra squish, for lack of a better term. There are some additional fun accessories that you can get for these. One of them being those cotton grip covers for the handle. And this is fun because you can just chuck them in the washing machine and put them back on and make sure your handle grips aren't getting super grimy. And additionally, they have a crutch bag. This goes right in here, goes on with a snap and with some Velcro and just hangs up out under your crutch. Um, I found I used this quite a lot last summer. I got it just for free when I bought my crutches because they were running a promotion when I bought them. And it's really fun. Though I find if you put too much weight in the bag, then it does alter the way that, how easy it is to <laughs> move with the crutch. So if you're putting anything too heavy in there, maybe just grab a purse. <laughs> One final disclaimer please do check with your doctor before purchasing any mobility aid. Everything has its pros and cons and you need to make sure that the cons are gonna be safe for you. For example, using crutches for me, while it has been fantastic and a game changer for how active I'm able to be, it does also contribute to neck issues and coat hanger pain in my shoulders and back. So I have to ration <laughs> how long I'm using them depending on how bad my issues are getting. And I also do physical therapy in order to make sure that I can, I'm not causing more issues. So, disclaimer said, check with your doctor. So yeah, I've had a really good experience with these, but if the rotating arm feature isn't gonna add a ton for you, then I would say go with something else because it adds a lot of weight and these aren't cheap. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you've used smart crutches or if you have different crutches that you've used that you really like. There's so many out there and I've only tried one. So let me know what you've liked and yeah, have a great day.